Hey, how's it going? This is Andy, and in this video, I want to walk you through a plugin, a WordPress plugin, that's going to help you build a list of subscribers, whether you're using a website or a blog. Now, as you probably can see from the title, the plugin that I want to walk you through is called Thrive Leads. So Chuck and I actually have tested many different plugins that's designed to build your list, and honestly, we found that Thrive Leads easily trumps all of them. Thrive Leads has everything that we need to do for in order to build our list. It has a very nice user-friendly interface, so it doesn't actually take you very long to get the hang of it. And simply, the plugin works. So I quickly just logged into my dashboard, and I want to show you how Thrive Leads works. So once you have it installed, on the left side here, you'll see Thrive Leads. So I'm just going to click onto that. With Thrive Leads, you actually have the ability to split all of those lead magnets to specific content. And all you have to do is just simply by creating different groups. But what I actually want to show you is the different features that Thrive Leads actually offers. So once you've created a group, so let's say this test one here and click into it, you can see that all of these different options that you can actually use to build up your list using Thrive Leads. So the very first one, the ribbon, it's a little ribbon that you can choose whether to leave it at the very top of your website or at the bottom. And because it's static, it doesn't matter how much you actually scroll up or down from your web page, it stays right at the bottom. So by implementing the ribbon, this is going to maximize the exposure for your actual lead magnet. Now with the light box, it's a little popover on depending on what kind of trigger a user trips. So for example, if someone was to actually leave this web page up here and hover their mouse over the X button, this is what a little popover is going to appear. So this trigger here is called the exit intention because a visitor is actually intending to leave, but before they actually have the chance to leave, this light box is going to appear. There are other triggers like your time base. So if a user actually stays on your website for, let's say, about 10 seconds, a pop-up box is going to appear. You've got the scroll percentage as well. So if they scroll halfway through your page, another light box is going to appear, and so on. But this is what the light box feature is. Now we've got the widget. And what the widget is, it's for your WordPress widget. So anywhere that you can actually place a widget on your website, you can actually put an opt-in form. So in this case, we put it on the sidebar. Of course, depending on your theme, some themes actually have widgets for your footer as well. So you can also put another opt-in box in your footer. Which leads me on to post footer. So the post footer can actually be found inside a specific post. So let's say for this post, for example, if I scroll all the way at the bottom, you can see that there's another opt-in form as soon as they finish reading that particular content. The next feature is the slide-in. And the slide-in is just a little box that will appear right at the bottom here and it literally just slides in. The in-content feature, it's literally what it means. So this opt-in form is going to randomly appear within your content. So as you can see, this is an in-content form. Now the screen filler light box is a light box that fills up the whole screen. So as you can see, Thrive Leads has many different features and it really is an all-in-one plugin. Now when it comes to actually creating these forms, it's really simple. All you have to do is just click on add new form on a particular feature that you want to use, give the form a name, click on create, and then you have your test form here. You can always rename it anytime that you like. Then to actually create the form, click on this little pencil button over here. Each of these features generally come with a template that are already proven to convert. All you have to do is just select any that you like and then just choose a template. When it comes to creating a ribbon, literally the sky is the limit. If there's anything that you wanted to add, you can add it on the right hand side here. All it is is just drag and drop. If you wanted to change any of the text, just click on the text and then change it on demand. Now, if you wanted to add more text, all you have to do is just drag this text element and put it where you want it. So let's say I want it under this text here. Click on that, and then this text box will appear, and all you have to do is just edit that text. Again, everything you see on this right-hand side here, you can add in to your little box here. So as you can see, there's plenty of things that you can actually do, and what you actually see here is what you actually get. But when you're finally ready to actually add in your web form to integrate it with your autoresponder, you just need to click on this little box here, and then all you have to do is just click on autoresponder code and then plug in your web form here. Another great feature about Thrive Leads is the ability to split test any of your forms. And you can see with this button, A-B testing here. And with the A-B testing, you can put it against any form and test it against each other. And now Thrive Leads would systematically control all of the data and just send it out to you. And then you can actually decide which one you want to keep or which one you actually want to remove. Another thing I really like about Thrive Leads is the control that you have. So let's say you don't want to have that same ribbon appearing every single time a user lands on it. But instead, you only want them to see it maybe once every two days. All you have to do is just click on display frequency, and instead of having it as zero, because that would be all time, you just need to change it to two. And now this ribbon will appear every two days. 
You can also choose when the actual ribbon to appear. So at the moment it's displaying immediately on the page load, but you can also have other options like after a certain period of time or when the user reaches the end of the content. Speaking of control, you can also choose where you want to add your form specifically. So if you scroll down from this page here, you'll see lead short codes and you can create as many short codes as you like. But let's say if we wanted a form in a specific area, right after a specific paragraph, all you have to do is just plug in this short code anywhere within the content and that's exactly where your form will appear. The last feature I actually want to show you is the two-step lightbox. And how the two-step lightbox works is you can actually make your lightbox appear after a certain action. For example, if someone was interested in receiving your lead magnet and they wanted to click on the button, that's when you actually choose your lightbox to appear. And again, all it is is just a short code that you use and you can paste it anywhere within your content. So those are all the different types of forms that you can actually create with Thrive Leaves and the different features. And look, once you've created all of those forms and you want to see how it's actually going, there's an actual reporting section right under Thrive Leaves. And in this reporting section, you can see your conversion report, you can see your comparison, your lead referrer, and you can track each of your leads where they're actually coming from, from specific forms. And then everything will be shown as a nice little graph over here. So if you're looking for an all-in-one plugin that's going to help you build a massive list for your blog or website, I highly, highly recommend Thrive Leads. But just as a little disclaimer, just by having Thrive Leads alone is not going to increase your conversions massively. It's going to really boil down to how you're going to market your specific content. Like whether your lead magnet is of value, whether your lead magnet is specific enough or targeting the right audience, and as well as the hook that you use to get them to opt in. But hey, if you've already got all of those ticked, and you're ready to build up a massive list. So check it out for yourself. I'll leave a link below this video. Click it and see for yourself. Like I said earlier, Chuck and I have tested many different plugins before and we're really happy with what Thrive Leads actually has to offer. And if you want to turn your website or blog into a list building machine, then Thrive Leads is exactly that. As always, if you have any kind of questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment below. We'll always get back to you. And if you're unsure whether Thrive Leads is for you, just click on the link below and just check it out for yourself. So that's it for this video. This is Andy, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video that you just watched. It'll be really awesome if you hit the like button and leave a comment giving us some feedback so we can continue shooting more training videos for you. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest training videos, and don't forget to get instant access to our four day training workshop by clicking on the link below in the description. I guarantee you that this workshop itself can easily help you build an online business even if you have zero experience whatsoever. Also, if you haven't yet, feel free to connect with me on Facebook and check out our blog for more affiliate marketing related content. You can find all of these information in the description box below. Again, thanks for watching our videos and I'll see you in the next one.